Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am just popping in to check on you guys, see how everybody's doing. What are you guys working on? Let me know. And I am just sitting here sewing my silver stone blocks together. Um, I've got a few together. I don't have a ton because um, I'm sewing them just one at a time. Just one at a time. And um, if you can chain piece and keep it up with what you're doing, I'm a slow sewer. Um, so I just, I'm doing one block at a time and I just lay them out. I flip my fabric over and we're just making like a four patch. I am trying to line up my edges here as best as I can. Keep my, my blocks where they need to be. Some of them are better than others. I mean, I'll be the first one to tell you some blocks are better than others. Some of them are perfect. Some of them are wonky. They're all going to get squared up in the end anyway. It's okay. I have turned a couple around. Um, but if you do, I mean, you just, it's fine. It's fine. Because you just do another two blocks. <laughs> you, don't have to un, you don't have to unrip them. Just do another two blocks. Unrip them. What is that? <laughs> what is unripping? I don't know. You don't have to rip them apart. That's what I'm trying to say. So, like, lay my stack of goodness over here. So, my top, I'm putting the seam to my left. See, that one didn't match up that great. And my bottom, I'm putting my seam to the right. That one matched up almost perfect. Because I'm matching up by this, not by this. So you can see where this is off down here a little bit. That's why they're all going to get squared up. <laughs> I'm going to grab me a pin. I'm going to nest the seam. I'm going to stick a pin in her. And then we're going to sew the whole block. Is my iron still on? Yes. And I do not have my quarter inch foot on. I have my seam tape, which is always down. And I have a clear foot. And on this clear foot, I know if I aim right in the middle of this piece, it's a, it'll be a quarter inch. And then we're going to bring her back over here. Oops, there's a hole in my desk where I guess you can run you can run wires um, up through or a phone like a phone cord or something. I gotta clean this. It's dirty. That's I think it's because I had this side down. I don't know. Either way, I gotta clean this mat. So my mat's different. This is my little mat. And I do need to clean it. Because it looks like Lulu has laid up here on it. And um, when I had it down before. There's a string. So I'm just going to flip this open. Hit it with the iron. Put my clapper on there. Because what we've done is we've took the big mat and I bought a table. Now, this is like a little dining room table. Got it at Goodwill for $15. Um, my big mat that's usually here is now over here, along with the cloth that I got to go through. And um, I got to buy some more bins to put my cloth in. My daddy's Bible's laying here because I had it out reading it. Um, but yes, yeah, so now I have a bigger area to cut and I'm not going to be struggling over here to cut bigger pieces of fabric in this little area. I also now have um, 
a big ironing board back here. I do have to get some feet for it because it, it was given to me. Um, there's the block. See where this side's off a little bit. Some of my points lined up perfect. Some of my points don't line up perfect. It's okay. Um, but yeah, so uh, my craft room is starting to become a little bit more organized and a little bit more user friendly guys it's just taking time and i'm not going to run out and and buy everything brand new my hubby surprised me with these rulers the, the um stripology i would have i, I would have never bought that whole bundle um <laughs> i mean this is an investment um in what i'm doing for me because that's an area I struggle with but everything else my like if you watch my other channel I love thrifting I love finding what I need for like the cheapest price I can find it um it to me it is like a goal like what can I find that I need for the best price that I can find it for this table was $15 and it's in really good shape I mean if you wanted to use it for a dining room table you could it's in beautiful shape um and like I said the ironing board was given to me <sighs> and I moved my chair from where this table was and it just accumulated fabric in the seats so it is now sitting back here it's in front of this shelf I have some other stuff stacked beside of it all that I have to go through and my hubby bought me a fan well we bought a fan he didn't buy one um, we were talking about how hot I get in this room especially beside this iron I get really hot so we bought a little fan to put back there um, I need to go through <laughs> This dresser that sits back here, it's got like my sheets. It's got the bed sheets in it. That's kind of like the storage for the bed. Um, linens. I need to go through it and um, clean it off. It's got like soap. Um, little soap chunks in it basically on top and some other linen things. But I just wanted to come on and catch up with you guys for a few minutes show you what i'm doing uh, i had a, about an hour before i needed to be ready to go to work i'm just putting sewing some blocks together so i thought we would do it together for a few minutes let me know down below what you're working on hope you guys had a really good fourth of july um we just went over to my aunt's went swimming stayed over there for a few hours come back and got all the critters in so they wouldn't be scared and run off while the fireworks were going off because we have um we kind of sit in the middle of two um two towns lenore and hudson and where they set their fireworks off we can hear both of them we could see them before the trees got up higher the first like two years that we lived here we could stand on our back deck and watch them go off um in hudson which is down this way i might have just turned those because i was chit chatting we'll see if you do turn them it's fine you just do them the other way Let's see here no we're good so what i do is four pull me out four and i'm gonna do the bottom tomorrow right and then we're gonna do the top and i do that seam to the left and i'm matching up this trying to match up this seam right here see how i just turned that in my hands um like by doing that sometimes i have flipped which side i'd sew down the wrong side so i try to keep my finger on the seam that i want to sew so i don't turn it and sew the wrong thing we'll find out right now did i turn it No, I didn't. So this one is going to go this way to my left. And then I'm just going to flip. 
Grab a pen. Maybe grab a pen. I gotta hurry up because I gotta get ready for it. Nest those two together, put a pin in her, and bring her back over here. My fabric's in my way. And I'm going to square up all my blocks. Um, when I'm done, I'm going to get them all the same size because some of them are a little wonky. Some of them have an end like that, where one side's a little bit longer. Okay, then I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna flip it open. And there's our block, but I'm gonna iron it now. Which way did I have it going this way? I'm just gonna hit my seam, pillar open. And I do have a clap. I have a clapper. And she's gonna go right there. <laughs> but um that's all I've been doing this morning is just working on these blocks. Once we get all the blocks done, um then we can cut our sashing and it is a two inch i believe if i can remember the pattern correctly two inch sashing goes between all of the blocks let me grab my pattern it's right here and i can tell you mine's not gonna be this big i messed up cutting a couple squares so i'm probably gonna lose this row right here so mine is not gonna be quite this big I was excited with my rulers and I cut one um I think I was cutting three at a time so I cut them wrong my bad um and that happens like I said cutting is where I struggle and I was using my rulers I just was not paying attention that was on me but I might try to use those blocks um, as some cornerstones. Like if I put another border, and you know I will put another border around this, I can use some as cornerstones, or I can use them in the backing. So it's not like I lost that fabric. Um, I'll still use them for something. But that is it, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, let me know down below. This is the question I have for you today. Since I'm getting up goodies to go in a thank you gift, because we did hit 7,000. So we're over 7,000 now, actually. What do you want to see in the giveaway? Because I have done, like, one giveaway was kind of pretty evened out across notions and fabric. This last giveaway I did was really heavy on the fabric with hardly any notions. Um, I put in little goodies that doesn't have anything to do with sewing, like maybe a pair of socks or, um, like teas. So you can drink tea while you're in here sewing. Um, let me know. Do you like that when I incorporate like little goodies like that? Would you rather see more, um, kind of evenness across the board as far as notions and fabric? Or do you want more fabric? Um, let me know what you'd like to see in the giveaway because I haven't really started buying up a lot of stuff yet. Um, I have been trying to rebuild my stash because we have gone through some projects and there's projects I want to do and I needed like backings and things like that. Um, but yeah, let me know. What, what would you guys like to see more of in a giveaway? Notions, fabric, even across the board. Um, do you like the little surprises that I put in? Um, Maybe my past winners that have won, 
um, can comment down below if, if you liked the little extra goodies, the surprises. Um, just let me know so I'll have an idea because it's time for me to start buying up some goodies for you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure you're subscribed because when I do that giveaway, it's not going to say giveaway in the title because YouTube frowns upon that. It's going to be like, this is a video you don't want to miss or here's a surprise for you or be sure you don't miss this one um, or it's that time. There'll be something like that in the title. So um, let me know. I'll see you guys on the next one.